Now let us discuss the question number three, chapter fourteen, exercise fourteen point two. The question given is that find the measure of all the angles of parallelogram if one angle is twenty four degrees less than the twice this twice of the smallest angle. Now moving on to solution. Let here the smallest angle be D that is equal to some x degrees. We know that in the parallelogram opposite angles are equal. That is angle B will be equal to angle D that is nothing but x degrees. And so we got the two smallest angles. The other two will be the largest angles that is angle A and angle C. Therefore those values that is angle A is equal to angle C. Value is given as the largest angle. That is nothing but it is twenty four degrees less than the twice the smallest angle. So twice the smallest angle is nothing but two times x degrees, and it is said that it is twenty four times it is twenty four less than. So here, angle A is equal to angle C will be equal to two x degrees minus twenty four degrees. We know that in the parallelogram, sum of adjacent angles. Is equal to one eighty degrees. We can say angle A plus angle B will be equal to one eighty degrees here, which implies angle A we have it as two x degrees minus twenty four degrees plus angle B we have it as x degrees, which is equal to one eighty degrees. That implies that two x plus x is nothing but three x degrees minus twenty four degrees is equal to 180 degrees which further implies 3x degrees is equal to 180 degrees plus 24 is nothing but 180 degrees plus 24 is 204 degrees which implies x is equal to 204 degrees by 3 here 3 goes in 204 68 times therefore we got the value of x as 68 degrees that is smallest angle which is a measure of angle b and angle d now we shall find values of angle a and angle c that is angle a is equal to angle c which is equal to 2 times 68 degrees minus 24 degrees 2 times 68 is nothing but 136 degrees minus 24 Which is equal to one twelve degrees. Therefore, the measure of each angle is angle A is equal to angle C, which is nothing but one twelve degrees, and angle B is equal to angle D, that is nothing but sixty eight degrees each.